So this is the Kinky Blowout Unit. And we um, came out with this one, wow, must be like maybe six years ago, maybe seven years ago. And um, a lot of women use this as just like sort of an everyday go-to wig. Um, she's made to look like you blew your natural hair out. And um, even the cut um, just looks like if you have natural hair and you just blow it out, you get a nice good blowout and it's moving around nicely and it's just being natural. Um, so let me tell you a few things about this unit and about the some ways you can get the most out of this. So um, like I mentioned, this is a really nice unit for just every day or just like occasions where you want to still acknowledge and nod to your natural roots. But, you know, you might want a sleeker look and you don't want to, go, you know, you might not want to go all the way sleek like a lace front and you may not want to spend all that time like you know, trying to lay a lace front down and whatnot. So I'm sorry, she's not even pinned on here because this model doesn't have any hair. So um, I always think it's a nice place to start um, with the units that can be worn um, with no leave out. Um, and the reason why I do that is because I figure if you can figure out how to wear a unit with no leave out, right? No lace, none of that. Anything else from there is just like cake on top of, or right, like icing on top of a cake. Um, so this is how um, you can wear it with no leave out. And there are a number of different ways, but this is just like the very basic um, way to wear it. Um, so again, so, you know, like our other units, it has like a growth wave. Um, it's got texture to it. Um, again, just very much like if you blew your own natural hair out. Um, and in terms of length, it's not as long as some of our other units, like, um, you know, like the kinky curl out or any of those, but we still employ that same kind of graduated natural um, look in, in the cut. It's just supposed to look like, you know, this is not, um, you know, a bob or anything like that. It's just like your hair is growing out naturally this way. So um, when the unit arrives, um, it, you, you could, you know, like uh, do a, a number of things with it because the um the cap design so this has like um a convertible cap is what what we call this cap style and what that means is that it could be worn as a half wig if you desire um so the construction is like a half wig and that is so the wig leg lays really nice and flat on your head um like the half unit style of uh, wig caps just tend to lay flatter because the the way that the hair is laid on them. Um, some of the more traditional full size, full cap units, they are sewn on in a circle, like a real old fashioned weave. And um, it winds up being like bulky up at the top. So we try to make these units so they don't have that issue. Uh, I'll just lean her forward a little. <laughs> or something, that issue of like big bulk up at the top. So you can see this is just hair volume. This is not cap a cap issue. So, you know, with the convertible cap, it's made in the fashion of a half cap, a half wig, but it's full sized. So you're getting like the benefits of both worlds because if you want to, you can wear this like as a half wig if you desire. So when it first comes out the box, you know, you are, you might be a little confused because um, when it comes out the box and if you just try to put it on like that, you're going to be sadly just very disappointed. Um, you know, the growth wave does come from out of the cap. So it's just going to look really weird. 
Um, if you want to wear it like going back, most people don't wear their hair just going back back. But if you wanted to do that, you would need to have some leave out around the front. So um, the way that we have it styled here, we just like, you know, made a little um, separation there and let the hair fall to the front. Um, the other things that you could do, um, which I will do in another video, you can make this into a U-part wig so that you could wear it with a part with no leave out, or you could wear it with a part with leave out, or, um, you know, there are just a number of different ways that you could use it. But just as an entry point, we find it like this is the easiest way to use this wig. And, you know, it takes nothing to put this wig on um, if you're using it this way. You can literally take this out the box and, you know, be ready to go in like minutes, you know, if you don't do too much to her. Now, one thing that you could do, um, you could make this a little straighter if you wanted to. And <clears throat> to do that, you're just gonna take like a blow dryer and um, a brush or like a blow dryer with a comb attachment. And forgive me, I'm gonna turn this on and show you how you can like get loosen up the ends of this if you want to. Or like if, I, I, we don't suggest going up too high on it because too much heat can damage this. And you also want to make sure that you're not using too much heat on it from the get-go, no matter what you're doing with it. The best way to do that is to like go in the back, take a little section and do a strand test with, you know, whatever heated element you're using. So what I'm just going to show you, and again, forgive me for the noise, is that you can just take your blow dryer after you know testing out what Sorry, I decided to not talk over that because it just didn't even make sense. But, um, you know, you can take it and you can just kind of loosen it up even more. But again, the beauty of this design is in a number of features. Um, that is has like that very textured, blown out look. It doesn't look like your hair has been heat damaged, overblown out, super straight. But even though it still has like all the features of, um, you know, hair that's blown out, it's got great natural looking movement. And, um, you know, we suggest just like taking a couple, we can't do it on her because she doesn't have hair again. But, you know, you want to just take a couple of pins, bobby pins and secure her. And another thing that you can do um, to make her look even more natural is to take a little comb or, um, you know, fine tooth comb or like an edge brush, edge comb, and just kind of tease the edges a little. With our units, that just works so beautifully. It works beautifully like when you're making any kind of part or when you're, you know, just trying to blend the edges without having to have leave out. So I hope that um, that's informative. And, you know, we will do some more videos on styling options for this unit. Um, but this is just the very basic ground floor of her and how, you know, you can make her work well. Um, I, I hope that the camera is just kind of capturing, you know, everything about her. I'll just, you know, try to turn her around so you can see the back and whatnot.
do like a little 360. And again, you know, we leave the 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 um texture in here, but you can remove some of the texture with the blow dryer. Um when you do do it, do it you're doing this like, you know, kind of um in your own or your own desire because once you do alter the texture, the only way that it can be um retextured is like sending it in for servicing but so let me just show you like how you can so as you can see that just kind of blows out some of that texture if you want to but you know her the whole i i'm sorry Sorry for talking over the blow dryer, but um, the whole purpose, you know, is for this to have like a very natural, um, very textured look. So, you know, we don't really recommend trying to blow out too much texture, but you know, if that's the look that you want, you can do that. Um, you know, and you don't you have to part it so far over. There's a lot of flexibility. You know, if you don't want it like in your face like this, I feel like that could be annoying. But anyway, that is the Kinky Blowout Unit. And she's got nice movement, nice texture. And, um, you know, she's like about a shoulder length. And like our all our units, it's like graduated so that it ha the length of the hair is graduated so that it looks really natural, like your hair would naturally grow out.